This is Dan Schreiber talking to you about technical leadership. Today, we're going to talk about passion. Are you passionate at work? I was listening to a podcast recently on whether leaders are too emotional, and one of the side comments I thought was actually worth drilling into. It was about this idea that you need to be passionate at your work. It's a romantic notion that everyone should be passionate about the work that they choose. And I'm not convinced at all that what you should strive for is passion in your work. The root of the word passion is passio, the meaning to suffer. And anyone who can recall a moment where they truly felt passionate about their work can relate a little bit to this idea that they also suffered. It's not all tea and roses when you're passionate about something. When we're passionate about work, we're not only engaged, we're also highly attached to the outcome, sometimes to an unhealthy degree. When I think about passion, it helps me think about the two dimensions of engagement and attachment. If you consider a two by two chart with attachment on the x-axis and engagement on the y-axis, I would argue that the upper right-hand quadrant of highly engaged and highly attached to the outcome is where passion lies. The upshot of this situation can be an unhealthy relationship with the outcome, perhaps working extended hours or ignoring other really important parts of your life like your family or your health. The first dimension, engagement, can be thought of as how much you pour yourself into the work. How attentive you are at the work at hand. Are you giving 100% to the work that you are focused on? The attachment, the x-axis, can be thought about how much we care about the outcome. And in some cases, the outcome is outside of our control. It reminds me a little bit of the Buddhist truths that talk about life being suffering, wanting an outcome that we potentially don't have within our control. When we're overly attached to an outcome, oftentimes we don't realize that we don't control all the different factors that are required to achieve that outcome. Now another observation is folks sometimes mistake passion for meaning. That being passionate about your work might somehow be related to working on something that's highly meaningful. And I would say that we might consider a different two by two matrix where we still have engagement on the y-axis, but now we have impact on the x-axis, where we might be able to choose to work on something that is highly impactful, as well as being highly engaged in that work. And I would say the upper right-hand quadrant, the magic quadrant for this, would be a highly effective technical leader. The reality of passion is that it's exhausting. If you strive for passion in your work, your home, your community, it can be too much to balance. Leadership requires us to understand the difference between passion and effectiveness. It requires that we understand that we can be engaged without being unhealthily attached to the outcome. And instead, we can maybe think about being an effective technical leader means choosing to be highly engaged in the most impactful work versus just trying to pursue your passion.